mixture wants to be firm. Enough water to bind, but not too much that it slumps. This will go in and there'll just be enough movement in that to tamp it to bring the air bubbles to the top. Spread the mixture. Excuse me, I'm doing this one hand. Spread the mixture right out to the corners. Have a little bit more extra than you need. So I filled the boxes with a mixture of uh, sharp sand and white cement to achieve the stone effect I'm looking for. There'll be a very much a formal uh, coping stone for the, for the wall. Now I'm going to vibrate out the bubbles and get the fat to the top um, and make sure that the mixture slumps into all the corners. So I'm going to lay this board on the top, a little bit of plywood because I'm going to use a um, a kango type hammer and I've got a bit of old poplar wood which is really knotty and I'm going against the grain so it doesn't won't split and using this just small hammer put it into the split I've already made um, and it, so it's across the grain so the piece of wood won't split away and now I'm just going to vibrate to bring the fat to the top you may be able to see as I'm going along the vibration in the liquid it brings all the fines to the top, all the air bubbles to the top, and pushes the material into the corner. And, and what I'll do once it's nearly uh, set is just cut the top off with a straight bar piece of wood. So here we go. And what you can see is the bubble starting to appear up the top, there's one here. Um, that's bringing all the air bubbles out of the mixture. And if we can just lift the camera up a bit as I do this last one, you'll see that the mixture is starting to go a bit frothy where all the fat's coming. <laughs> Now the cement's had quite a long time to go off and the fat has gone quite firm. I'm now just going to, forgive me, I'm doing this one-handed, I'm just slicing across the top, making sure that the, the wooden bar stays on to the wooden profiles either side. I'm just cutting the fat off of the top to leave it level. And there you have it, that would be the finished surface and I'll probably just go over, in fact I'll do that now. This would be the bit that's cemented to the top of the wall. I'll just go over the trowel, just to smooth it off, a couple of times, into the corner. So here we are, just 12 hours later, the three moulds that I cast yesterday evening have now gone off. They're still green so you have to be careful, um, a heavy knock or drop them down if you move them and they may crack. But I've taken the screws out the side 
of this first one and I'm going to try and take it out of the mould on my own. I've summoned some help because they're very heavy but I'm just going to take this front board off and you can see the side of the stone. Now these, even though my wall is made with a fairly rustic stone effect, I'm hoping that these more formal stones will give it a um, top it off nicely and give it a, a nice effect. I've yet to make a decision how I deal with this straight edge, whether I leave it crisp or whether I just go along with a piece of wood um, and just remove that sharp edge. But I won't make any quick decision. It's, it'll be green for a little bit longer. I'll be able to, to deal with that. So, here we have the blocks. I've taken all four sides of the mould off. I've left it on the bottom surface. It is very heavy and I, I really don't want to knock it. Um, you can see a lovely sharp face to the block. It's very smooth, um, but it's still got these air bubbles, which even though I said I wanted to vibrate out the air bubbles, um, a certain amount staying in uh, won't damage the integrity or weaken the block at all but it gives this lovely effect which is exactly as you'd find in sawn limestone these bubble effects um, sawn limestone is exactly looks exactly the same so I'm really pleased with that effect as I say I you know I might just take I might just take the roughness of this sharp edge off um, but otherwise I'm delighted with the effect and I think um, it will finish this wall off tremendously with a lovely formal coping stone. I just wanted to add that whilst these are green and it's going to be a fairly warm day today, I will pour water over as it cures um, from time to time just to stop it drying rapidly. If it dries too rapidly there's a chance that it will crack. Um, but also you notice when it's called green concrete effectively because it hasn't cured and it hasn't gone hard but this does look green <coughs> excuse me this does look green um, but because of the white cement in here by the time this has gone off this will be a very light color which will complement the stone um, exactly but if you look at the moment uh, the color um, it really does it justice And here is my assistant Hector who's just um, escaping the warmth of the morning and having a little lay down. <laughs> 